Russian pilots are used to bombing Syria with impunity. Having unleashed his ground attack salvo, he will have expected to make a clean getaway. But this time, that wasn't to be. Slowly but surely, fire doomed the plane, and just before it plummeted, the pilot managed to eject, his parachute opening safely. But later, as rebels surrounded him on the ground, he fired his pistol to defend himself before apparently taking his own life with a grenade. This is the same type of Russian jet in action in the same area last month. The amount of death and destruction dispensed by these planes, Sukhoi Su-25s in particular, meant the Russian airman knew he'd be shown no mercy. Predictably, the loss of the jet and its pilot has resulted in hard-hitting retaliation. Residents in one town claim the local hospital was bombed and that several newborn babies were among those rescued from the rubble of the building. There are also reports that elsewhere a Syrian helicopter dropped a bomb containing chlorine. Locals say nine people were treated for the effects of the chemical. This is all happening in Idlib province, the last rebel stronghold in Syria. We were there last month and saw the effects of the air raids that are part and parcel of the Assad regime's assault on the only remaining enemy bastion. Ironically, this province was designated a safe haven last year. Hundreds of thousands have fled to this place, only to find their supposed sanctuary is now under attack by the government and their Russian allies. These are civilians with few friends, not least because they're trapped in an area controlled by rebels linked to Al-Qaeda. The timing of all this is also ironic, for last week the Russians hosted a Syrian peace conference which achieved nothing. Three years after joining this fight, the Russians are looking for a diplomatic way out, but they're struggling to find one. John Irvine, News at 10, in the Middle East.